Herzlich willkommen zum Adventskalender ABC. Heute ist der Buchstabe W dran und wir steht für Withering Flowers. Und wir schusen eine Language. Ah, okay. Das hätte ich auch vorher machen können. Okay. Äh Ja, passt schon so. Nein, 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 nein. Nein. So, da oben. Okay, New Game. Rein da. It's always like this. When something happens, it falls on my back. I had it, but at the same time, my concern... Conscience it not clear. Conscience? Uh, and if someone else found out what happened while I stayed home drinking tea, what will become of me? I just wish things will go back to the way they were soon. Hmm. We are walking without any formal hint, aren't we? I'm sorry. Not a formal hint, but I clearly heard him talking about having to withdraw from the academy. Lois is a person who is extremely dedicated to his work as a teacher. He would never leave if it wasn't something important. Having a problem at home is an expectation thing. He is married to my sister. My sister is practically the personif personification of a dragon. She can spit fire at you. You both have some friction, I imagine. I don't think she will spit fire at you. Siblings love each other, or at least they should. I wish all families were perfectly uh, perfect like you and your sister. We are not perfect, maybe major. We decide that we would stay out of each other's life. Unless we needed each other and we happen to need each other often. I love her too much. That's why it makes me very sad to know that you fell out so badly. You started it. Well, I was dreadful stressed too. I thought she was making a drama and that she didn't want to talk about us. I only realized that I think we are serious when. When she spat blood over her clothes. When you told me this, I panicked. If your parents decide to visit, we probably wouldn't see each other again soon. I thank you for letting me handle this alone, also for coming with me. That was we. Uh, that's what friends do. And anyway, Larum is my sister. She took care of me for a long time, almost replacing our, our mother. I can even say that I was spoiled by her. Lauren is an angel. The personification of a Demetra. She's my girlfriend, but sometimes she act like her uh, act like a mother. Don't feel strained by saying this. Lauren summed it up and 100%. And it's been a while since we have been here. We walked between vines and rocks. The grass was not high, it more or less hit the calves. It was cold. There was a breeze with a pleasant smell of nature. But it was not practically resourcing. But Luca came with the academy robe and that probably means he will have to buy a new one. I didn't remember that this prowess was so big and with few trails. Well, either Lois has built a secret house to store evil and scary projects or we are on the wrong trail. Not that is a problem. I know Luca can find himself easily if, if needed. Great as understanding compass and maps. But it's getting darker and darker. Yeah, we are lost. 
I love my body, holding my knees and sighing wearily. And I trusted him. I stand beside Luca, my lips twisted, and then elbow him in the arm. He grumbles in pain, rubbing his arm. Just keep going straight, huh? You dummy. I, I, I sure I saw the right on the map, Shira. The secretary, uh, the secretary gave me the address and I locked it up. I would never put you in without being the last bit sure. Apparently the minimum wasn't enough. How many hours has it been? Three? Four? It's going to be four. Luca, stay back and keep your voice down. You hear something. Something big. Uh, alright. Luca? He met dead daily stopped at my back. I could feel his hands gripping my overcoat like a child. I trained for this moment. But I don't know if you are ready to face a monster. In the end, even my legs are shaking. Something makes its way through the bushes. It a tall and carry something heavy. I will get my wand hand. Hey. I'm talking to you, pair of status. From here on, it's a private property. You would be with to leave before I find the boss. Actually, he is the one we needed to talk to. Of course, if we are talking about Loic. Lois. What do you want f with the count? Count? I didn't know that the professor was a count. Listen, I want you to help us talk to him. It's about the problem that made him leave the school and he told me to keep children out of this way. If we have, if I were you, I would listen to the advice. Go. Away. Oh, what an expert reaction. Both of reaction. This just in case that our theories are right. Lois is indeed related. Even a little bit to the richest dis disease. Besides, I can't say it. I suppose can't. Shiva, shut up. Listen to Luca. Ask about Lois. We are asking him about We have a problem and are investigating the reason behind it. You know, Lois, what's the first one to act strange? If we are going to start from somewhere, but place should be his house. Was talk to him. Maybe he knows something. We are having a problem in the investigation. There's a reason behind it. Oh, also, you know, uh, also the summer, uh, the topic. After all, it is something that could even affect his family, isn't it? What the fuck are you talking about? Do you think you can assist me, master, of being involved in such a criminal act? I was in the mood to gather just little firework, but apparently I will have to get rid of some weeds too. You don't have to take it with the stuff, we just want to talk. Oh, was fight just gemacht. I'm, I'm ready for this. Needs me to be. Before I close my eyes, I see the big woodcutter turn the axe on his back, pointing it at us. It's a Cargable, cargable of cutting us in half for sure. What was that letter? I'm furious. And she just come up to me and tell me to the, my face. I leave my backpack on the garden table and walk toward the small wooden staircase, living on each step as my life depended on it. However, My anger drains down my chest when I see her on the balcony in a rocking chair with her then head down walking bed on thwarts. She's wearing about five tons of cloth. What's going on? It's spring. Uh, hi, Shira. Hi, Laren. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, I, I I got your letter. I, I don't know why you said it. Did I do something? No, you didn't anything. Then why? Larry. 
I quit the academy to come live with you. My things are here. I was serious. It wasn't just a hobby. You are breaking up with me because I have been going out on the town a lot. Is that it? Do you want me to stay here with you longer? Are you lonely? If you, if so, you will be even more lonely. Lower your voice. My head is exploding. I'm not feeling well. I couldn't buy the herbs of the center, so I asked Luca to go. Then, science usually meets with you. I buy herbs. You have Huck's garden behind the house and... They died. What of them? Most of them. I don't know why. The earth looks sad. It's spring. The flowers should at least answer me. Is your power weaker? You need me now. Why break up? It's nonsense, Laren. I don't want to be your burner uh, to lose a love. I am completely bewildered. I can't think straight. I think I need to care of myself to heal my wounds so that I don't bleed on you and Luca. I want you to have your bright and carefree life. You need me now. Why back up? It's nonsense, Laren. Hey, was ist das schon? Do you have a problem? Laren, you're pushing everyone away because you have valuable is not going to leave anyone in peace and unconcernment. Why it's so opposite? I will go back to the academy, graduate, and then become some witch teacher, earn a living and go on an unhappy in my giant silent house. Ha ha ha. If you're going to be a popular, you will probably get some girl to live with her in your mansion. I don't want some girl. I have my girl, Lauren. You are, please. I'm all and I have experience more than you. I won't force anyone to be in failed relationship with a failed person. I am already poor and simple and even my magical abilities don't answer me these days. I can offer you to nothing better than anyone else. Are you really serious? Yes, I am. You are breaking up with me because you are depressed. Is that it? Yes. Oh, you are hatched dummy. If you look at yourself the way other people do, you would see that angel you are. I'm furious. You think I'm not capable of protecting your feelings then? I remove my right glass, pull the ring off my finger and leave it on her lap, walking away soon after. I'm not one to pull any punch. If you want it wa that way, so be it. In the end, she might be right. I'm younger, I have less patience and I won't imitate solution for my life. Ah, what the hell? You selfish little girl. You are? I turn around immediately as hear the curling. What's really going on? Yes? Erwin! This beige scarf. Does it have red roses on it? Erwin! Very good, Lauren. Do you want to tell me uh, what exactly is going on with you? Dating or not? I want her well-being. I'm dying, probably. Chris, my herbs suddenly died. Then, the flowers didn't hold up even with all the care I gave. I started to feel very tired. Finally, my blood pressure dropped. I think I saw it started to have a fever. And now, it's cold. How long has it been? A couple of weeks? What do you mean, a few weeks? I was here last week. You heard it from me. I'm sorry, I was too scared. Too afraid you would be angry. You were having a fight with your sister those days. I didn't want to be a burn burden. My god, what nonsense. I'm very angry now. What? It's too late. Isn't there any medicine left? I can make some for you. I have some botanical knowledge. 
stay here for a while. I will be right back. Iran? <coughs> I hear Lauren calling and run back into the room. Lauren? Lauren holds onto a cupboard, pressing her fingers against the wood. I want her holding her just uh, as she loses the string in her legs and falls on me. Lauren, hang on, I will bring your brother. Is this, is this my fault? This is my fault, isn't it? I remember that after that, Lauren and we woke up again. Luca helped me to take her to a hospital and she stayed here for a few days. However, the doctors didn't know what she has correctly, but judging her history and genetics, a, a genetics they commented on her pro one possibility. Approach. They comment that the more similar cases have happened around the region, the more rigorous ones defend the idea of it being a good solution to stop evil magic. Humans and witches can really don't get along well, very well. After she got stable, we took Lauren home, but she wasn't still catatonic. The woodcutter was really prepared. A man that size was certainly too heavy for someone like me to take down and his axe to great a range to strike me if I tried to grow around. In that case, I opted for the tra traditional. I reached out my hand to my bag, capturing my rand. I feel fear tangle my inside, but I refuse to leave her without at least a portion or answer. It is the least I can do the proof myself worthy of it. The man's brown hair fluttered as it strikes her air vertically driving the blade into the ground. The blade seems to admit a small explosion and Crater is left in place. Luca managed to pull me by the strap of my bag, causing me to dodge. I exerted my wand forward in turning the spell. I wish his rare flight toward the woodcutter who currently raises his axe to the protect his face, carrying with a fragment of earth and stone. A fire witch, too. I am multi-elemental. That makes me happy. We don't want to gather spheric fire here, right? With the speed I wouldn't expect from someone of her dead size, he spins the axe around himself and strikes the air above my head, making me duck. I take the opportunity to repeat the spell, pulling it towards his Bulgari expulsions. You are more agile, agile than the lady. Your spell, however, how weak you are. You would be even faster if you shook your mouth. Seeming to accept my taunt as advice in a posture exception of a Venuserios, Venuserios, uh, he advised again with continuous blows. I moved so far away that I don't realize I was already exempted distant from Luca. The boy sitting on the ground was remaining out through his pocket for something with a disparate expression. Luca! Impulsively, I called out to him. Until he read Luca an easier prey, the man reversed his path and advanced towards him. Wait, wait, I'm not a fighter! But you were here with your heart hurted little friend, weren't you? I definitely don't care what you are. I want to watch both of them as I see the woodcutter put this axe to Luca's throat. Impulsively, I call out to him, but I slow down. The axe was unlit. It was lit in the blood red just now. I hold out my wine again. Do you know that movie nonsense where the wine stops blowing when you are in the adramic moments? Kind of, uh, I will call it, there is no breeze right now. I will see the spell again. The lack of wine was mascaring, but it also allowed my blows not to change curves. I hit the man right in the back. But 
He didn't even seem to move. I look at my wand in panic. Was it broken? Was something reduced to impact? The impact? It wasn't fair. I always got high marks in practical classes. Even Lois saw it. Is this what I call reality? Deep down, I wouldn't save my friend. Luca, use your arm and Do something. Luca was a uh, pet fright. I could see that not even his glasses were on the face. And now his back was completely stretched out on the ground. The hands that were clenching the po pockets before were outstretched in surrender. He looked breechless in a way ha I hadn't seen before. A crippling ex anxiety. Leave me him alone, you fight it with me, big guy. A brief moment of silence. That's interesting. It is the smallest package that have to best gifts. Beside his burnt bag, which didn't seem to bother him much, the wood cutter seems to have his body arranged si slightly forward. He does not turn completely toward me, but I can't tell that this expression was that something this beast. So he must uh, not at the level of anger, just a deep discomfort. The woodcutter slowly lowered his axe to the ground with a grunt. I see him throw something silver on the ground. Then he looks at his own hand and there was blood on it. Luca! I want to work then, charging my energy of all it for, uh, for a point black blow. I need to quickly pull him away to identify a Luca wound. Damn it, damn it, I'm not. I'm not a healer. No one help me. What herb? Which one? Wo wer verletzt? It looks extremely dark. We lit this place up so much. I couldn't even see that twilight was gone. More animals joined the melody of the night. While the big guy watching my friend lying on the ground, panting. Dudes with a long face are the best. My lady's daughter is exactly the same. The frivy in your eyes when things get out of her hand. The despair when she doesn't get what she wants. Above all, the absurd instinct for survival, which I only see in hunted are rabbits. I realize now close by that it wasn't Luca who was wounded. Luca holds my leg tightly, almost lowering my sock in the process. His hands were cold and trembling. He also seems to be holding back a cubious cry. His face was rendered almost breathless. That's... is that deep? Don't worry about it. But as I have already told my master, often the traditional blade in the bell is worth much more than those laser lasers. You are so proud of unleashing. I need to clean this up before my young mistress notices. That was extremely uninteresting. I was happy, don't get me wrong, but I couldn't even do anything. If it was for real, we would be in trouble for sure. He was just playing with us. The man who already lived with his chest exposed removed his vest and cleans the wound on the abdomen with the clothes inside. Then he adjusts the axe on his shoulder, lying his hair and starts walking. Hold on, wait. Where did you? We won. You should give us the information. Are you making fun of us? You said you help us if we won. You didn't win. This word is nothing to me. Unfortunately, I have to keep us appearance here. You will to be frustrated to know that I was wanted and could not even accompany me to help me. Having a day with our frustration for her is all I can offer these days. You wouldn't understand. But for witches, magic is an extension of the body. Without it, they feel that. Wait. Wait a minute. Are you saying that her really is someone sick among your masters? Please tell us. My girlfriend is dying. I need help. It's not my problem. Go away. Or don't. Do what you want, I will only say one thing. These woods are dangerous, especially for witches. 
The big man walks off in one direction. I watch him carefully, sorry to get you into this. If that man wasn't just killing time, he wouldn't he would have really done something. Luca messaged his neck. He looked at me in an extremely unforgettable way. He seems to be pierced me with his eyes piercing my soul. I don't know. What a strange man. However, I think we should follow him. I think that despite his reaction, he gave permission for that, this. We think so. I'm afraid he's preparing an ambush, uh, ambush or something. I don't know. My magic was very weak today. I wonder what happened. This player really seems to have some level of magic present. It is expe expected to work my life easier, f my work my life easier for a practical physical human. Hide the axe. If that axe is contained as well, you're right. He might be waiting to strike back in a better place. Anyway, let me see your magic items, especially your wand. If it is damaged. I can fix it right now. This is my favorite inventor. No way, no owe me a snack at a restaurant downtown. Luca can overcome his repair very quickly. I hand over my wand and watch him work as I feel my body dropping now that the nervousness is gone. His nibbling finger analyzes the runes on the wood while he narrows his eyes at detective. In a situation like this, I was probably already crying in the fatal position. Luca? Yeah? Really, you are very strong. Ha 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 ha. You can stop flattering me. I will be shy and swallow your wand. Why would you swallow me, my wand? Nothing has happened, you know? I slap him on the back and he streaked back with a grunt. However, soon after we learn, in the same way as before, when we gasm in despair intensely, forgetting our problems for a second. I'm very, I'm very lucky to have him as a best friend. Without him and Lauren, my life would be... I don't think I have a word to say here. They really are everything to me. I'm late again. Either Luca must be used to my way of being by now. I'm very clumsy. I forgot where I put my wallet. Then I found my wallet and finally forgot to put it in my overcoat pocket. I took the key and went down to the transport 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 transportation and I had to go back. My legs are shaking. Luca lives near the square. If he's not here, he must be tired of waiting for me and went back there. I will have to find him. After tuning the corner, I find his house. Luca lives in a small house but with a big yard. There are some trees in front, a small shed where he makes his messes up, and. Huh? Who is? Gently closing the brown door, I see soft white hand. I follow with my gaze and find the finger of some sort of perfect illusion. The wind flows through our hair. Hers, cut in two braids, don't get messy. Me, on the other hand, need to hold my head. Hello? Ah, are you Shirua? Hello, I, I mean, hi, yes, yeah, Shirua is my name. It's a pleasure to meet you. Sorry I let Lucas sleep in tonight and he missed your meeting. But he's coming. He asked me to come out and tell you. Don't worry, I'm not hurry. And what's your name, if I may ask? You look uh, like... Uh, you look a lot like Luca. Oh, yeah, he's my little brother. I'm Lauren. I was taking care of something. I usually only come on weekends, but since yesterday there was a holiday. But I'm going shopping now. Remind Luca to leave the gate open when you leave, in case I come back first. Lauren walks away with a gentle mood. I'm so spellbound that I don't even know where I'm looking right now. 
It's really as if an angel had burned my eyes. I could swear it was an illusion if it wasn't for the delicate flower scent in the air. Hi, Shiva. Sorry, I'm late. I, I, I had. Shiva. Uh, so Shiva. Uh, 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 sorry. I hear my friend's voice and shake my hand. A uh, head. <laughs> oh, uh, come on. What happened to me? Ja, hat sich verknallt. Das ist die Vorgeschichte, die sie sich kennengelernt haben und wer das ist. Well, anyway, don't worry about being late, and by the way, good morning. Your sister had just left when you showed it up, and she said she let you rest more today. Oh, it's here these days. Since I was studying for Lois' test, I ended up leaving the house a bit zoned out. The test is today, right? I apologize for being able to help you this time. Lois is the only one who take individual practice tests. Oh, relax. I was able to summon something with my wand. I just needed to do it again. Even though it's small, I think she will let me pass. I will be rooting for you, but let's enjoy this house before class starts. It starts. So, do you want to buy something? Gossip about people behind the fountain. There are some benches far away. I think that's signs we are here. Lucas has a very serious problem with the practical classes. He was very weak in magical power. But he is ingenious in theory. We are always cheating together doing exams. Uh, due to the city holiday, today the academy will be open only at night. This is the day to hand in examens and solve padding issues. In other words, Luca is really only going to face the one teacher who failed him. And me? Well, I'm going as an audience. We walked around the square a lot and got a couple of ice cream. We're talking about the previous test, gossip and classmates. He sat on a bench opposite his house. Uh, his house as the square was circular with serial entrance and exits where a cars could pass. If you looked at the map of this neighborhood from above, the shape would be very close to the child's drawing of the sun. Let's sit down next to him, removing my head. So, how old is Lauren? 26. Further mother told her friendly about the biology clock and things like this. They are much more present recently, which is a serious problem for her and me. They always bother me about my lack of magical talent and she, she has never dated a boy, you know. Wow, I would never suspect Lauren seems like a very lovely girl. She doesn't even look that age, I thought she was about the same as me. That's crazy. But what beautiful eyes she has, doesn't she? They are very expressive and her voice is sweet, calm. She has a nice perfume too. And a cute smile, a cute little braids, a little dress full of cute little flowers, and, and, and. <laughs> I can't believe it. My best friend is in love with my sister and they have only exchanged half a dozen words. Ah, I want to hide this from you. She is the most beautiful girl I have ever seen. But I'm sure that more people think so. She really doesn't have anyone in mind. Really? Really? Well, I don't talk to her about romantic things. She think I'm secretly dating you. It's kind of silly because I'm already told her that I like guys. And she likes girls. Really? Your family is very untraditional. Well, do you think she might talk to younger people? I just turned 80. It's almost 10 years. I mean, uh, I, I don't know. I'm not that close to Lauren, actually. She left home longer before I even entered the academy. She went to live in the forest where she felt her energized flowered better. But I can call you to visit her together when I go. A casual conversation among your friends. So you exchange this passion at the first time for real knowledge. You never believed that, did you? That's why you are single. You keep thinking that you will only fall in love after you have done it and an interview with her person and... 
But it's true, I don't think I'm capable of falling in love with someone I don't really know. Broken relationships started like this, you know, in the explosion of emotions. Okay, fine, you may be right. But why are you going to an interview the boys to find the perfect match if you are run and scream when someone says hello, hmm? And pinch his arm, cursing him to let out of a low gun. Luca knew it was true. So much so that he shrank back in his seat, staring at the large cream bottles already dripping on his fingers. He was very shy. Pathologically, I mean, that is why I'm always being in his shadow, pushing him to victory. I have a deep appreci appreciation for him. Well, don't worry about that. Let's focus on your obligations. Today is your recovery from Professor Loy's invocation subjects. I imagine that if it wasn't for Lois, you would be do better. He is a handsome man after all. He is about 45 years old. I don't think he is spectacularly handsome, but I think it's just uh, the way he is. I get a little dish rest. I forgot the word of the spell a little. For someone who is good at it, it should be easy, but since I'm really bad at it, it just get complicated. I understand you. Lois is a bit intense, but I will give you a hint. When you summon your family, do it facing me. I will be there shaking my head. After all, the test is about your invocation, not starting at the teacher. Even if there are more people, you will be able to find me. There are a few red hair students. Okay, I will try. Really, I will. I think this time that you will be there. I can more relax. I find it's absurd that the official exams are isolated. I get panicky. Well, anyway. Do you want to go to the house after his ordeal? Loving will, be, loving will be gone by now, but she says you will have dinner ready. I bet you will love it. Oh dear, what a pity. I love... I will leave my instant noodles for another day. What a sacrifice. Luca laughs hurriedly. I love to see him happy. He's my own best friend, even though I have many contacts to talk to. I don't know, it's just a kind of magnet. Uh, we are brothers from different worms. Signed the first grade a while ago. I saw him quickly on a bench ready and I wanted to nag him. Who knew it would work out? Hey, Shira. Oops. Is there a tissue in your perps? purse? My hands are all wet. Clumsy. Give me a break. The conservation was good. The clock is the one of a given time. I give the extraction. I had a very bad night. I was exhausted. Too many nightmares about a dark future kept me from really resting. Everything I said, everything I heard, sounds that the echoes in my head, like hammering and couldn't even apologize a person was practically dead. Love and still her function, of course, technically there was life for her there, but her body was still unresponsive rearing her eyes between open and closed. But I always wondered for how long and if it was worth waiting for a miracle at the hand of medicine. After a while I thought that she was just losing her day of life and that should and that I should solve it by myself. I trust medicine but if the situation wasn't medicine to begin with, I needed Luca to think. So, und an dieser Stelle würde ich ähm, beenden, äh, weil das geht dann doch schon eine ganze Weile und das ist sehr anstrengend, das alles vorzulesen. Ähm, ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen und wir sehen uns morgen im nächsten Let's Play.